cross back uh, over the water, over backstairs passage to Kangaroo Island and catch up with former Liberal Party federally leader and former Foreign Minister Alexander Downer. Thanks for joining us, Alexander. I was going to ask you about uh, your former colleague, uh, that is Senator Simon Birmingham, the leader of the opposition in the Senate, and his contention that he doesn't have to campaign, campaign for his own party's policy on The Voice. I is this sustainable? Well, I, I think former leaders and MPs should probably keep out of the minutiae of the management of the Liberal Party today. The important thing is that collectively the Liberal Party has made a decision to oppose Labor's plan for The Voice, um, the so-called Canberra model, as they call it, um, and therefore they are really obliged to campaign against it, and the important thing is that they do. Um, they won't succeed as a political party if they don't um, have uh, the courage to unite. Um, divided parties do find it very difficult to convince the public, and if you're not clear about what you stand for, um, then you can't expect the public to admire what you stand for. So they have to be clear, they have to be united, um, and in that way they can start to rebuild their brand. Well, that's the point. Uh, I agree with it, exactly the way you've expressed it there. But Simon Birmingham is, uh, you know, you could say he's the third most important person in the Liberal Party as the opposition leader in the Senate. He's also the leading moderate, so most people on the left of the party look to him for leadership. And, and here's what he said yesterday. Will you campaign for a no vote? Well, it's equally not my intention. My intention is to respect the Australian people uh, who will go about this referendum uh, uh, applying their judgment uh, to the issues that are before them at the time. He has to be prepared to advocate and defend all coalition policies, doesn't he? Otherwise, go to the backbench. Well, I think the important thing from the public's point of view, um, and this applies to any political party, not just to the Liberal Party, is to be crystal clear in what you stand for, um, not to sound um, equivocal or uncertain. I'm not making any um, allegations against Simon Birmingham or any uh, reflection on him himself. It's not for me to do that. Um, but the party has to be clear-cut. Um, that's why you have meetings at the shadow cabinet or the cabinet. You have meetings at the party room or the caucus in order to work out a common position. Because you're a political party, it's typically important you do have a common position, not that you atomise. Otherwise, you lose your status as a political party if you atomise too much. So, you know, the important thing is that they... Having made a decision, they stick with the decision, they argue their case, argue their corner, and um, uh, they, they have every chance of convincing the public. But, of course, they're all over the place, then they won't uh, win the public and win the respect of the public. Well, speaking of being clear, let's have a look at one of, one of Simon Birmingham's colleagues, Alex Antic, another South Australian senator. Let's have a look at what he said in this very studio last night. Uh, I think if, if that is to be Simon's position, then I really do think this makes uh, his position as opposition leader in the Senate and a front bencher fairly untenable. OK, let's try and be really clear and crystal clear here, Alexander. If Birmingham is seeking to pick and choose which policies of the coalition he is going to advocate and defend and which he's just not going to be partaking in, he's in an untenable position as a Senate leader, isn't he? Well, it's true of all members of the Shadow Cabinet, as it indeed is true of all members of the Cabinet, that they operate according to the principle of collective... Um, decision-making, um, and so whatever the arguments within the Cabinet or the Shadow Cabinet, um, members of the Cabinet or the Shadow Cabinet are then obliged to support those decisions. So Julian Lesser didn't um, choose to continue to support the position of the Shadow Cabinet, so resign from it. I'm sorry to see him go, but um, I guess that's the honourable thing to do. Um, but otherwise, I assume all members of the Shadow Cabinet um, support the decision of the Shadow Cabinet uh, and the decision of the Parliamentary Party, and they 
Ira, you're right. They're obliged to stick with it. Indeed they are. We'll see what Simon Birmingham does next. Thanks for joining us, Alexander.